Everyone in? Yes, sir. Mr. President, it's an honor to welcome you back to the White House and the Oval Office. And earlier this week at the UN General Assembly, I made it clear that, uh, that no nation can be truly secure in the world if, in fact, we don't stand up and defend the freedom of Ukraine uh, from the face of this Russian brutality and aggression. That's why we brought together a coalition of more than 50 countries, more than 50 countries, to help Ukraine defend itself. And uh, it's critical. And that's why, together with our partners in Ukraine, we have provided humanitarian aid, as well as tens of millions of people with food, clean water, and so much more. And that's why, that's why we've begun the process of formalizing our long-term commitment to Ukraine security alongside the G7 and with other partners. And that's why we supported just and lasting peace, one that respects Ukrainian sovereignty and its territorial integrity. Mr. President, the brave people of Ukraine, and that's not hyperbole, the people of Ukraine have shown enormous bravery, enormous bravery, has inspired the world, literally inspired the world with their determination to defend these principles. And together with our partners and allies, the American people are determined to see to it that you do all we can to ensure the world stands with you, and that is our overwhelming objective right now. So welcome, welcome. We have much to talk about. Thanks so much, Mr. President. So warm and, and strong words to all the Ukrainians from, from you. Thank, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad to meet you. Uh, it's already the show time this year. Thank you for the invitation. Our regular dialogue is proof that our countries are really, truly allies and strategic friends. And we greatly appreciate the vital assistance provided by the United States to Ukraine to combat Russian terror. Really, terror. Today I'm in Washington to strengthen our coalition to defend Ukrainian children, our families, our homes, freedom and democracy in the world. And I started my day in the U.S. Congress to thank its members and to people of America for all the big, huge support. I felt trust between us and it allowed us to have a frank and constructive dialogue, Mr. President, and this trust and support I felt from both chambers and those bodies and grateful for this. Uh, then with the First Lady, uh, I honored innocent victims uh, of September 11 Memorial in Pentagon, all those who tragedy, who dead, who died on American Airlines Flight 77. It's very important to all in the world to remember the victims of terror and value everyone who fights with it. And now I look forward, Mr. President, to our discussion for the benefit of our nations and the world. When it comes to weapons, we will discuss everything with a special emphasis on air defense. And just to say that, especially this day, uh, one year ago, we had, we made a <coughs> big exchange of prisoners, uh, war prisoners, and journalists, and uh, it was uh, when this day when we got and brought home defenders of Azovstal and also citizens of the United States. And I'm happy that we, we did it. Uh, Alexander Druke and Andrew Taihun, both from both from Alabama. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you all very much.